it's Maury Reynolds. I am doing my 2016 in the bag. First, I wanted to uh, once again thank Latitude 64 uh, for sponsoring me for another year. I'm so grateful. Um, they are definitely uh, the best disc golf company out there, and I, I just couldn't be happier. Um, anyways, here we go. Um, first of all, I uh, at a tournament, I usually use my uh, gotta go, gotta throw uh, golf cart. Um, seems like a lot of people are going uh, certain types of carts or whatever. I personally like this one. Uh, it's got a nice seat on it. You lift it up. It's got all the uh, disc in here and so on and so forth. I use the uh, Latitude 64 Pro bag. That uh, fits really nicely in there. Um, but here on to my discs. Let's see, let's start off with putters. My putters that I use, my main putters are uh, Mercy, of Medium Mercy. Um, I've putted with these for a couple years now, uh, pretty much since they've come out. Uh, very dependable. Uh, I am a spin putter, so uh, uh, they're great for spin putts. Um, has a little fade at the end uh, if it's a long putt. Uh, in that case, I would use my uh, Swan One Reborn. Um, I got a lot of the Swan Ones that I like too, but uh, I'm really liking the soft plastic. So uh, if I'm outside 30 feet, 40 feet, I'll probably use this one because it holds a straighter line than my Mercy will. Um, also, if I need a Annie kind of putt, I use a uh, Gold Line Mercy for my upshots, uh, most of my upshots, I'll uh, use a putter or anything, I don't know, 200 feet in. Uh, more than likely use a putter unless it's really windy. My mids, uh, the compass came out and I fell in love automatically. It was, uh, it's unbelievable how straight this disc is. And it handles in the wind pretty nicely too. Now I, I'm not saying it's going to handle in a 30, 40 mile an hour headwind uh, like uh, some others, but uh, uh, for a mild wind or whatever, it cuts right through it. Does really nice. If I put an ante on it, it'll hold that same line. Heiser, same thing. Straight, it goes straight. If I lay off of it a little bit, keep the nose up, it'll fade off for me. So I have two of those in case I lose one. And for extremely windy days, I will use a Justice. And for any kind of shorter shots, I need to just kind of go and stick and sit. Uh, the Justice is what I would use. On to my drivers. My main drivers are an Escape. My Moonshine. Moonshine uh, Escape is definitely my favorite. This one's uh, probably the most beat in. It'll turn right for me nice and easy if I, in case I need an anti shot. Um, I try to stick to very limited molds in my bag just because of this disc. I felt like uh, last year I had too many molds in my bag and it seemed like I was never throwing my escape. And uh, my score really suffered because of it. Um, it's an unbelievable disc. Uh, this is more for a straight shot. I can also ante with this, but this one's primarily just for straight. And I got my Emac uh, Escape, and that's a little more stable than uh, my other Escapes. Then, if I if I have a strong headwind, um, I will go to a Scythe. Um, you guys might think that's a little weird, but uh, for some reason. Uh, I can throw this flat and it'll go dead straight with a really nice uh, fade on it, nice finish on it. Um, it's very controllable for me. Uh, I can't get the most distance out of it, so I figured I would use this as more of a, a fairway type uh, driver. My Fury is my more understable driver. I'll use this primarily for rollers or big ante shots, um, but primarily it's for rollers. Now this is a new addition to my bag, believe it or not, the Boatman. I've tried Boatmans out in the past and I don't know what I was wanting out of it, um, but 
but I tried Brad's uh, the other day and uh, well, a couple weeks ago and I fell in love with it. I can't believe that this disc has not been in my bag. Um, it's dead straight for me. Uh, I get some good distance on it. I would probably use this if I have a little bit more wind than, uh, uh, than the Escape. But uh, I can put an ante on it and it'll hold the ante, uh, hyzer, whatever. If I, if I throw it straight, flat, it's going to go and it's going to hyzer out. But it's not so stable that I can't put an ante on it and it hold the ante too. Uh, and it'll go too. I mean, you can lay off of it and it's kind of straight to the point. But if you kind of get into it, um, it's got some pretty good distance on it. All right, uh, then I got my Biofusion Enforcers. These are for my flick, for my forehand, and for backhand um, distance, backhand distance that I need to fade. Um, I can't say enough about these. A lot of people are wanting, uh, 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 you know, coming from different manufacturers or whatever, I hear a lot of people wanting a destroyer replacement. I've heard Trespass. Uh, trespass uh, for me uh, personally uh, my arm strength which I don't have the biggest of arms but trespass just wasn't stable enough uh, love these bio enforcers I would highly recommend trying one and finally for my uh, distance if I got a tailwind or whatever or I pretty much primarily don't have any wind um, and I need some good distance I'll pull my bolt out uh, so it'll hold a nice ante if I need an ante too, but uh, for the most part, I'll throw it on a hyzer, let it flip up, ride, and it just goes and goes and goes, and then it'll finish left for me. I also keep a bite in my bag. This I don't uh, use uh, during a round. But it's fun to throw around with uh, friends and uh, kind of get loosened up for a tournament. Uh, or just out uh, while we're at doubles or whatever, we always try to throw this uh, before and after. Uh, really fun disc though, I'd highly suggest uh, picking one of these up. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys um, that might not have ever heard of this. Um, it's called Mission Power Grip. I just found this last year, uh, found out about it last year, it's a little liquid, you put on your hand, you rub it, and all of a sudden you got dry hands, it's like a powder on your hands, you literally can hit it and you'll see the powder come off. This thing is great for people with uh, moist hands, I have a hard time holding onto the disc, I, I uh, just bought some off of eBay. Um, I, I love this stuff, I uh, would highly, highly recommend it. Um, at the Brent Hambrick a couple of years ago, it rained really, really hard, and I tried to use this, and it was useless. And hard, and hard rain and stuff, it's not going to work. Uh, but primarily just for people uh, sweat or whatever, uh, uh, I would highly recommend picking one of these up. Uh, that is my in the bag. Good luck to everyone this year. Um, I'll talk to you soon.